Welcome to Shop Smart Autos. My name is Richie Bello. I'm your host. We have a special guest, Brandon Hardison, is joining us from a major auto group out in Georgia. Well, we're going to call him in right now. Brandon, how are you today? How's your day going, first of all? Oh, Richie, it's doing well. Thanks for asking. We just got finished a sales training class dealing with certified pre-owned, so we're, we're doing good. Great. Brandon, I wanted to say, you know, the, the OEMs, which were the consumers, the factory, right? They were on track to do $18.2 million, and right now they're down. They're on track to do in the $13 million, right? The last report that I looked at this morning, I looked at these reports. Brandon, I wanted to uh, talk to you about something. Toyota's a record low with this coronavirus, right? If you look at the numbers of Toyota, it's crazy, right? So what have you been hearing? Well, uh, the thing that I've been hearing because of it, uh, there are a whole lot of challenges because there's vehicles that are at the port but can't get out to the dealerships. That are some because of situations that we can't control that are still at the plants. So what I'm asking everyone as a consumer to think about, because this is what we talk to our general managers and our general sales managers, today is the greatest day to purchase a vehicle because we're ready to sell today. And I'm so glad you brought that up. You know, there's a buzz going on in our industry. The buzz is the OEMs are going to start within the next, I call it the next 90 days because they're overstocked, as you see that, right? They're overstocked on inventory. They were on track to do 18 million, right? And it drops. All this inventory is there. They didn't, per nobody prepared themselves for Corona, right? right? So there's going to be a lot of money from the factory to get out there so consumers can benefit from this value, right? And get your best deal. And one of the things is go to ShopSmart. There's over 6 million cars in inventory. Work your best deal, hmm. okay? And once you work your best deal, go into the dealership, shop around online, go to the dealership, and put a deal together because they are taking any feasible, any realistic deal that they can get their hands on. What is your dealership doing to get back on the recovery and on track to help the consumer with their buying and shopping process? Okay, thank you for asking. There's a couple things that we got going, and I'm glad that you – uh, brought up that about ShopSmart. Wow, that that's tremendous. If I'm a consumer, I, I would love to have access to that many vehicles at once. But since you brought that up, let me remind them, and I know some dealer principals, general managers may not like it, but if I'm a consumer and if I see something online outside of ShopSmart and you see a price of a vehicle, and you go into that dealership and you see that they're not honoring that price, I would get away from that dealership. Correct. And I'm so glad you brought that up because these fees and all that, listen, just get your best deal. Make sure you're with a credible uh, shops, like a shop smart autos. One of the things about shop smart, it's all, all the cars there are guaranteed by Kelly Blue Book at the best number. You could appraise your car there. You can do comparison uh, shopping also. So you have a, a whole site that has, and it's guaranteed by Kelly Blue Book, you know. It's got that price advisor, as they call it, that it's got the best deal. Mm. It's, it's that green color, which that's what you want to look for. It adds credibility to the dealership. And you also have dealer's reviews there because we all know everything is dealer review. So the whole inventory has the dealer review and the price guaranteed by Kelly Blue Book. Now, that being said, 
we've uh, developed different platforms for the consumer because as you know, Brandon, and you know me quite some time, my whole life I've always been about the consumer. So if you buy, if you look for a car online and you have a problem with a dealership, there's an email on ShopSmart, which is info at ShopSmartAutos.com. Please email us and we are putting together certain deals for customers between the dealer side and the consumer side. We're, we're bringing them close together because you know what? Throughout the years, Brandon, buying a car was like going to an oral surgeon. So what we want to do is improve that process and bring in that process like when you go buy a shirt. It should be the same thing. It shouldn't be this whole thing that happens, you know. So we're about the consumer. It's going to Consumers are going to be happy in return. They're going to go to the dealership more. It's going to be more of a destination to the consumer and it increases for the dealer side. It increases their retention and that's what it's about. So it's very important for us how the consumer gets treated. The other thing, Brandon, that I wanted to share with you, I'm in the process with coming up with a focus group for consumers that are in the market. So oh, wow. every week, every week at say seven o'clock or six o'clock at night, we plan on doing this in one of our destinations, which would be the Beach Club Estate, right? And have the consumer engage with us how their experience was and how we can improve. Because we want to always be continue improvements for the consumer. What are your thoughts on that? Well, Richie, I think that outstanding. Over the past 10 years or so, the OEMs, the manufacturers, used to do a lot of focal group. Even the regions used to do that, but now they've gotten away from it. I think that is outstanding because when you do focus groups, you find the heartbeat, you find the pain, you find out what the customer's thinking and what they need yeah. right now so you can address it right now. So I think the ones that are on ShopSmart, when you do that, that is tremendous. I don't think nobody else in the nation has thought about that, Rich. Very good. Well, the reason we want to come up with this focus group is it's, it's listening to the customer. It's the opinion of the customer. You know, Brandon, we're all trainers. So you train your salespeople how to deal with the customer, right? But really in reality is, the real truth of the matter is, we're not getting the voice of the customer. That's the difference between some trainers and other elite trainers as yourself, right? Because we know you're a corporate trainer in this big auto group, the Jim Ellis group, right? Which has great reputation and does the right thing by the consumers. And with this new process that's going on with COVID-19, it's very important for the consumer to feel comfortable in the environment. And what are the recovery things you got to look for? How could we tell the consumer that is safe today to go to a dealership? Would you share that with us, what you guys have done to help that process? Okay, very good. Uh, we are very proud, Richie, that five years ago, before this COVID even hit us, we experimented with something called Shop, Buy, Trade Your Way. In other words, we knew that the consumers were changing. In other words, they like to hit their device and have it show up at the door. They don't want to come into a dealership because right. they've heard stories, so they've experienced two hours, three hours, five hours just to buy a vehicle. So when this COVID hit, other dealers were scurrying how to do business. We were already taking vehicles to the customer to test drive. Our service departments were already going to people's offices, picking up their vehicle for service and leaving them alone. So if you're going to think of a dealership right now and they don't have a way where you can 
do all the transactions step by step, even finance and ship the vehicle to you, I'd go find another dealership. I'm glad you brought that up. There's a, a buzz out. I'm in a lot of groups on social media and consumer groups. And a lot of content is out there. Is it really safe to walk into a dealership? Right? I had one of the people post on there. Is it even safe to do your service work in a dealership? Okay. So have you guys done anything to help that fear, right, and safety, have you guys put any process in? Um, I'm sorry to say, Richie, you broke up a little bit. I didn't hear. Have you guys question. put a process in for safety, for the consumer feeling safe walking into a dealership? Is there like they can take their temperature? How uh, safety during the current COVID? Yes. Now I got you. now 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 we got you. We go by appointment only, so we know that the customer doesn't have to worry about the distancing. We do take their temperature. They do get stickered everything in the area is sanitized as they go from department to department or if they're looking at something on the showroom floor or if they're looking at the vehicle before they get in the vehicle someone is there to sanitize it down so they feel comfortable with that but no we do everything we can with this current situation to make sure that that peace of mind they don't have to worry about coming into one of jim ellis's stores great so now and here's the thing rich yeah we do the same thing if we're coming to your oh wow that's very interesting uh, we do the we do the same thing if we come to your house wow so you're really on this you're one of the stores that i would call certified for COVID-19, right? And why? Because you do everything through the guideline, through the state, right. through the local state, to make sure you're right. I, I have another thing to say. It's so important with this COVID-19, we've developed ShopSmart, right? And that's for the consumer uh -huh. side. Uh, within the next few months, probably by September, a consumer can actually go in there and buy a car. They can finance the car. They can do all that kind of stuff, right? But we came up with another solution, which is a warranty. Consumers go to a dealership. Sometimes the dealership sold them the car, and they are trading in a car. They're, they don't have the equity, and they can't get a warranty unless they come up with money, right? Well, guess what? Warranty, Jim, came up right? One of our biggest sponsors came up with this, said, Richie, we want to hit this market, but more important, a lot of customers have a warranty and they can't even buy another warranty because they're out of equity, right? And they're trading in the car for whatever reason. So warranty chimp finances, right? Finances it with a great deal, I believe it's uh zero percent wow. for 12 months. So now the consumer is protected, okay, and it's up to 18 months, okay. So now it's free money. Why wouldn't you get a warranty? And here's the other thing why warranty chip is has so much value to me. And one of my sponsors says, Richie, this is a great product. And I've been listening to the product. Here's the other value. If you own a car and you have challenged credit, and because of your credit and your equity, you could get a proof of warranty. As long as you have the car and that car is registered to you, you're getting a warranty. 
free money at zero interest. And here's the other thing. It at least establishes you another credit and another trade on your credit bureau because you're financing a warranty. So this is a great product in combination with ShopSmart. We're trying to find solutions for the consumer. But not only that, it's anywhere from two to $500, maybe a little more cheaper than a dealership. And it's the same warranty company that a dealership has. Outstanding. Uh, what are you thinking about? What do you think about those thoughts? Do you I'm see glad you mentioned that. So this is hooked up together. So if I'm a consumer, tremendous value. That that's tremendous value that's there. Uh, but I would uh, remind the consumer, and once again, some dealers may get uh, mad at me, but consumers need to know this, and that's why I'm glad that you're doing this show. Let me go back to what you said before when you talked about that uh, Kelly Blue Book. Yes. Uh, they may see some alphas that stand, and it may be something with an I. C O, which means instant cash offer. Because in certain areas, that salesperson may not explain that to them, but that's the price that that vehicle, that based on Kelly Blue Book, would offer it for them with, with that. that. That's one thing. Now, I'm going to go back to that warranty that you talked about. Here's another thing that some of our brothers and sisters around the country do especially when it comes with a customer that has a trade. You know as well as I do, historically, salespeople like to go around a customer trade and beat it down because it has dings, scratches, the wheels are roughed up. People know, especially now with this virus, some of their loved ones are leaving us, or maybe they have this vehicle here. They may have in the glove box some type of protection or warranty that can fix those scratches, those dings, to bring the value of that trade up to make it more marketable when they are looking at warranty. So I just wanted to get that out there so the consumers will, will know that, because many dealers won't even let them know about that. I'm glad you brought that up because that's very important. And you know, Brandon, a replacement vehicle, right? And when you walk into a dealership, sometimes you got to tell a, the salesperson this is a replacement vehicle, get the number for it, search it online, make sure that you get the right number for it. Because let's face it, an automobile is a commodity that depreciates, right? And let me tell you another thing, Mr. Consumer, and I'm on the phone a lot with consumers, Correct. and I tell them, you make sure when you walk into a dealership that you buy a fresh car. What does that mean? A car that's been there no longer than 45 or 60 days. And why do I tell that to consumers that call me? Because they roll a car after 150 days or 180 days, they're selling you the car for the same thing they own it for, but here's a problem, that car has depreciated. So when you trade in the car in the next two and a half years, you say, well, that dealership worked me off. Mr. Consumer, don't think that's necessarily true because they're selling you the car for maybe under cost, but the depreciation caught up to them. So that's why you're a negative equity. And then after those two years, you do a bad review on a dealership. So you know what? Know the information first. Make sure you ask how long has this car been here? When you run a car fax or you run everything, you know how long that car has been in the lot. And ask that salesperson and ask the manager, 
If you love the car that much, just understand, don't blame the dealership, okay? Because the car's depreciated. What do you think about that, Brandon? Correct. And that's why no, we... No, uh, you're doing the consumers uh, the, the, the right thing. Uh, really, we cannot... Plan. That's why we can't blame all dealerships, like you said, for depreciation, because that, that is going to happen no, no matter what. It's just that I look at it is that that sales professional that they dealt with, bad job of investigating the wants and buyers, and they should have explained all of that before we move forward. So, so that's my feeling on that. Now, since you brought that up, if I can't let the consumers know, Rich, uh, there's still something, and I told you I had a class recently on it, certified pre-owned. If you're going to buy a used vehicle because you feel that you cannot afford a new vehicle, please go to a manufacturer, not an independent, go to a manufacturer and look at a certified pre-owned vehicle. Richie, you know as well as I do, the lending institution is going to work with them better. You may find a vehicle that have original mileage left. And because it's a certified, we're going to stack on more warranty. You're going to get trip interruption with the roadside package, which will take you into a loner hotel eating situation. So if you're going to have to buy a used vehicle, certified is the way to go. And here's the other thing, how I look at the certified program. If you have a vehicle that you're, bought it three years ago and you want to trade it two years ago and you're upside down what they call negative equity five or six thousand let me tell you something you're going to get a certified pre-owned and you're going to be able to throw that in there versus a rebate okay because the car is worth what it's worth but the the uh, factory and the oems with the general motors is stepping up now after COVID 19 basically approving deals because when it's a deal you got good credit you got all the right things they're going to step up on the car because they know what happens you know with inventory it's overstocked so right now mr consumer you are you have the leverage right now you're on the driver's seat you know with this show that we have that there's a lot of stock of inventory that being said Supply is not in demand. So when supply is not in demand, the consumer wins. And that's why we decided to start the show all over again to help the consumer go into the dealership or buy it online and get the best dollar for it. Because right now, that's what's going on. I've been on the phone with uh, lending institutions and on an email and all that. And they've been saying that they're starting to step up. So you know what? Now you want to trade in that car that maybe three months ago, you were so negative equity on it. Now you can actually trade it in and get the value for it. What are your thoughts on that, Brandon? <clears throat> uh, it's, it's tremendous. Uh, really, Rich, what you're providing the consumer, the, the knowledge that you're giving them, uh, I'm surprised you don't have a whole lot of dealers throwing arrows at you saying, what, why are you telling the consumer, give away all of our secrets? How can we, how can we make money? We need to put you out of business, but you're telling the consumers the truth and that's what they need to hear. So I, 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 I thank you for that. Especially that focus group. I like that focus group idea that you brought up. Yes. Yeah, so in the next coming weeks, I'm going to start that. It's going to be at the beach club and we're going to have a focus group. And you, you know, who's going to be running it. Uh, we know him. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he's a doctor. He's a psychologist and he ran focus group for a major Fortune 500 company. Uh, so he already committed to it because he wants to help the consumer too, okay? So let's help the consumer get the best dollar amount. 
Brandon, it's always a pleasure having you on our show. We want you to come back for more. Next week, we have a real special guest. We're not going to announce it. Just watch Shop Smart social media, and that'll be announced on Friday or over the weekend. We got a real special guest that is about the consumer and is going to help the consumers really make their decisions so much easier. Brandon, have a lovely day and enjoy your weekend and stay safe and stay doing the tremendous job that you're doing. Uh, Richie, you stay safe and your family up there in Long Island. And it's always a pleasure to be on the show. Thank you so much. Take Purchasing a pre-owned vehicle is a big decision. With Warranty Chimp, model for model, option for option, you're going to get the very best price you can get on your extended warranty. But let's just say for some reason you do find a better price, which is highly unlikely. Warranty Chimp is going to match that price and give you $100 towards your warranty. You really can't go wrong. Build a better plan, choose your own deductible, and get the best price at WarrantyChimp.com today.